Ricano Keenan Ceccarelli was born on February 5, 1908, to first generation Italian immigrant parents Agostino Ricano and Maria Pietronave. She was delivered at home in Willits in a house her father built without running water or electricity. She is the oldest of seven children. Her father, Augustino, was a lumber worker, grocer, and builder. Her mother, Maria, a relative of the Persico family, brought many skills from the old country. She made her own cheese, bread, and had a garden so plentiful she shared it with her neighborhood, family, and friends. Of her childhood, Edie has stated, Every little thing meant so much to us. Edie was a working woman and held several jobs, including being a clerk at the Ukiah Courthouse and working at J.C. Penney's. An accomplished singer, she also worked as an entertainer doing song and dance shows at Duncan Springs Resort. And she sang background music at the Silent Movie House in Willits. Edie married her high school sweetheart, Elmer Keenan. They lived in Santa Rosa for 36 years and raised their adopted daughter, Laureen, there. In 1971, they moved back to Willits, and in 1984, after 50 years of marriage, Elmer died.
Two years later, at 76 years old, Edie met her second husband, Charles Ceccarelli, at a seniors dance in Ukiah. They were an active couple who danced, gardened, and took trips to Italy to meet relatives there. They lived in Ukiah until his death in 1990. After Charles' death, Eni moved back to Willits and has lived there to this day. She has outlived two husbands, six siblings, her daughter, and three grandchildren. She has lived through women's right to vote, the birth of the Model T automobile, two world wars, two pandemics, and so many other cultural and global changes. She is a member of an incredibly rare group of people called Super Centarians, or people over 110. Edie is the oldest native-born Californian, the 23rd oldest in the United States, and approximately the 28th oldest person in the world. She is only five years younger than the oldest person on earth, Japan's Kane Tanaka.
always elegant and dressed to the nines, Edie's love of life and drive for connection remains constant. For example, after her longtime companion and dance partner Ed Burton died at 86, Edie published an open letter in the local paper looking for a new dance partner. I would like to keep dancing, she wrote. She was 104. Edie lived independently until 107, and she underwent two hip surgeries at 101 and 103. She attributes her longevity to long daily walks, a love of red wine, just two fingers full, minding your own business, and good Italian genes. She is our treasure and inspiration. Thank you, Edie.